is Noman here. I am an instructor IT and Automation Academy. IT and Automation Academy is providing training across the globe in different countries. We are providing on the PLC, DCS and SCADA trainings. We have our specialized instructors that are industrial experts. They have experience of more than 10 years in different domains. We normally provide oil and gas automation training, PLC and SCADA training, oil and gas advanced training, advanced automation training. According to the level of the student, we deal with the different levels of the training set. We are providing online. You can access it anywhere from, from the world if you have internet connection. That's all about the short introduction about the academy and me. Let's move on to today's topic and today we will talk about analog signal processing foundation that's very important when you talk about process industries. If you talk about the process industries like chemical, fertilizer, oil and gas, you have to deal with for sure analog signals like pressure, transmitter that is there to measure up the pressure in the lines. You have a flow transmitters, you have a temperature transmitter, you have a density related measurements and you're sending it through the through through to through your instrument to the PLC. Now how the signal is coming from the PLC to the from this from the field equip, field uh, devices to the PLC and w what are different signals that are there like when it's traveling into the uh, from the P from the instrument to PLC what is standard signal there and what is the raw value of the PLC we are getting it and what exactly what we will do to make it scaled value so we will talk about these concepts is really important when you talk about analog signal processing is very very important concept in oil and gas in fertilizer or any process industry you have to deal with the analog signals so let's look at the foundation for example we have a one uh, oil tank for example level of the tank is zero percent the signal is going to us so as the PLC via instrument that is transmitter there it's sending standard signals in form of 0 to 10 volt 4 to 20 milliampere remember these are standard signals in analog signal processing when we are sending signal from the instrument to the PLC the signal is normally 4 to 20 milliampere or 0 to 10 volt these are standard signals now how they will be interrupted and how they will be understand by the PLC this is really really important concept to know for example in, in that case if there is a zero person level the signal that is going to the PLC is zero volt right it will be zero volt from the instrument to the PLC you know it's going to the input of uh, input card of the PLC like in this case we have a Siemens PLC is going to the Siemens PLC analog input card so now the signal that is going there is zero person now the according to the that level is zero definitely and now if in the case that signal is now 50 person what will be the value going to us the input card of the PLC that will be 5 volt why because 5 is exactly half of the 10 and 50 percent exactly half of the 100 percent so it will be 5 volt there going to the PLC and PLC will understand that 5 volt that meaning 5 uh, 5 uh, 50 person fill in the oil tank so in this case we have a 50 percent oil fill that's 4 5 volt going to the PLC from the instrument that means instrument is sending according to the 50 percent 5 volt to the PLC now it's a PLC input card that will get that value and the PLC will understand that value and how it will in translate that value to the raw value and then how we will convert that raw value back to the back to the uh, same value that is that we are getting from the field for sure we will talk about that in detail now we have a full signal like mean that full signal mean that we have 100 percent fill tank what will be the signal going from the transmitter 
to the input card of the PLC that will be 10 volt that will be 10 volt because 10 volt is a maximum so here we have a maximum level 100 percent so according to the varying level the signal within the range of 0 to 10 volt will be sent to the PLC okay now how from analog output card the signal will travel signal will travel and signal will go to the final control element final control element is in the case control valve that is now for example the PLC start PLC if send is 0 volt to the to the control valve that means the PLC is ordered control valve to open 0 percent right again same thing it 0 percent 0 volt mean 0 percent now for example the PLC is PLC is sending from the output card of the PLC to the con final control element in this case this is control wall 5 volt that will be 50 percent opening order to the control wall it will say control wall hey hello just open 50 percent of the flow so hope so you understand that point next if in the case PLC 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 processor given output of 10 volt to the output from the output card to the control wall that 10 volt mean hey control wall it's the time to open full flow it's the time to open 100 percent of the control wall right now we will talk in detail about analog signal processing foundation what is the foundation what is required to learn about before going into detail programming of the PLC and getting that draw value concept and uh, translating it back to the scale value and then unscaling concept this is really important before getting into that depth you have to understand the foundation concept so binary integer real these are really important to know about that so for example now we will talk about the binary what is binary yes or no you have all the concept you you know like for example light is on and off so on mean one off mean on mean one and off mean zero so we have integer numbers also that we have a decimal point numbers we have a whole numbers concept that is really important to get into detail what exactly the range is and then we will definitely talk about the real floating number like we have a points values definitely when you're talking about the PLC uh, analog signals like pressure temperature can be a point value like 10 point seven like that it's normally exactly the point value in the processing field